Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crowd Vibes. This is Season Zero, Episode 6.6, Dirty Head Style. We're still doing the 2023 Best Album of the Year reviews. I'm Jason Hibbets. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. The next album we're going to review is Midnight Control by the Dirty Heads. The boys from Huntington Beach, they drop an album and then surprise, new music. Yes, please. Love it. I think we'll see this trend continue from other bands with the way music is released on digital platform these days where they'll put together 10 to 12 songs, release an album. They still got like a couple, four, six, eight in the works and they're going to do the deluxe with all the remixes from the famous or the good songs that they've got on their stuff. So I think this is going to be something we're going to see more of in 2024 and beyond. Similar to my review of the Movement album Always With Me from Season Zero, Episode 6.1, Midnight Control technically came out uh, in 2022, but then Dirty Heads released the Deluxe Edition this summer, which that's what's been playing on our feed the entire summer. So this review is for the Deluxe album. Here's the pros. For the Dirty Heads, life's been good, but you can always rescue me from the indigo of the heavy water and make me appreciate the little things like shade. The things that make me and give me the midnight control to survive that island glow. You can find me in El Dorado where you can live your life. It's like being with John Lennon so we can see the bright side where we can find our constellation and two shells in my pocket to help get you by. The kids would not stop listening to this album. I would walk into the kitchen, sure enough, life's been good, jamming on uh, our Alexa. Sure enough, heavy water, here it comes. Thank you, Common Kings. All right, so here are some of my favorites uh, from the album. Hands down, Island Glow, best song on the album. I actually didn't know if Dirty Heads could top Sloth's Revenge, Goonies, Never Say Die, whatever you want to call it. But this back and forth between Duddy B and Jared, it just reminds me of the first time I heard The Chronic with Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg swapping verses and then going back and forth. We just got that we just got that Dirty Head style. It's so dope, man. I love that song. El Dorado. Woo! Man, this is like the DH version of Hotel California. I know a little place where we can go. Heavy Waters, an amazing collaboration with the Common Kings. Surprise, they're also, they're, um, their new album is also in the mix for this one. But yeah, bring it, man. We love collaborations like this. Seeing it live, I think I've seen it at least once. If you can get it with both artists, it's amazing. It's a really fun time on stage. Rescue Me. Man, this song is should be the current day anthem for Cali. It's like this should be blaring at all the LA NFL games, uh, stadium, uh, all the NFL games in SoFi Stadium. Like, why not, man? Oh, it's so good. Other highlights. Constellation featuring Jackson Weatherby from the Elevators is on point. Brightside, John Lennon, and Two Shells. By the way, Duddy, I'll, I would join your podcast any day. We could just talk shit, man. It'd be fun. Man, with these new songs, Dirty Heads just keep delivering. Thank you, DH, for all this dope music on the deluxe release. Man, we really love it. So, uh, really quick, I saw the Island Glow Tour twice this summer, uh, 2023. Both shows were amazing. Uh, we love the show in Raleigh so much, we wanted to see it again. We drove to Charlotte for round two. Bonus, we got Little Stranger. That was awesome. If you like the crowd vibes, hit the like button, share your favorite videos, and subscribe to get new alerts uh, for new stuff. And uh, go check out the album Midnight Control by the Dirty Heads. Goonies never say die. Thanks, y'all. Enjoy the crowd vibes.